the third squatter we need to evict tonight, I call him the reactor. The reactor. This is a very funny fellow. He has no real motivation. He's impulsive, emotionally unstable, blows things out of proportion, and acts out of control. You know, ladies and gentlemen, life is not linear. There are many things you cannot predict about life. I hear us talk about from time and again about untimely deaths. Please tell me, when is it timely to lose your child? When is it timely to be hospitalized? When is it timely to have an accident? When is it timely to be heartbroken and lose your marriage? When is it ever timely to lose your job? When is it timely for a country to go into flames? Life will always have uncertainties. Wednesday, the 29th of November last year, we were headed for the US with my family, but we made a mistake, an embarrassing mistake. How many of you are like me? Sometimes you have very embarrassing moments. Anyone? Have you ever gone through embarrassing moments? For quite a long time, this is one of my most embarrassing moments. We eat just smiling. And as we traditionally do, because I am the doomy at home, I was pushing the luggage. And Masa was holding the tickets. And she presents them to this guy and he says, what's wrong with you guys? It was 1 p.m. We knew the flight is leaving at 5 p.m. We knew we are three hours ahead of schedule. Very obedient people. We were told to be there three hours ahead of time. It's 1 p.m. and our flight is 5 o'clock. And the guy says the flight was 5 a.m. <laughs> That's Wednesday. And that Friday, I was speaking in a conference in California. We have a choice to make. One is to hit the ceiling and hit the floor and make fun of ourselves and give the media another side of the public speaker. We had a choice to make. To call these guys Turkish airline names of all domestic animals. <laughs> We have a choice to make. So we analyzed the situation very fast. We didn't know what to do. Already it was very difficult to get that fright during that hour, that rush hour, that season. When back home, that particular day, President Uhuru was being inaugurated, the streets were a little bit unsafe. If you remember the circumstances last year, reached home, we couldn't sleep. We took the kids to sleep. Masia and I had to become the watchmen, watching in prayer. Do you think so? <laughs> ah, that's the time you look for the best inspirational speakers other than Kenyan Jewy. <laughs> then we went back to the airport at 1 a.m. The guy looked at us and said, you guys, are you all right? It is not 5 a.m. today. It was 5 a.m. yesterday. I said, I know, just in case another family made the same mistake. <laughs> and sure enough, another family made the same mistake. <laughs> And we got a chance. Now, you know it's easy to get flight for one person, but for four people, and you're connecting, you know we don't have direct flights. I think we will be having them from November. So either way, you have to connect if you're leaving Kenya across the Atlantic. By God's grace, we got a flight, but this God works in mysterious ways. Initially, we were to land at Turkey, then DC, Washington, and then Boston, and then San Francisco. By God's grace, we got a direct flight from Turkey all the way to San Francisco, believe it or not, we need three hours ahead of the original trip. Yeah, God works in mysterious ways. But I'll tell you this with all honesty, with all integrity, we never blamed each other. Yes, the ticket was not indicated in a 24-hour way, and they never wrote AM or PM. We naturally thought it was 5 PM. But we took responsibility. We never blamed each other. And I'm telling you this with a lot of integrity. What we decided to do is to focus on what we can change. Because it doesn't matter who did what, the flight has already left. What's my message for you about dealing with the reaction? Because many families break because someone reacts. This is my message for you. Focus on what you can change, not what happened. Not what might have been. Not what you can't change. Focus on progress, not perfection. Life is not linear. It will never be perfect. So why can't we focus on progress? Because it will never be perfect. Don't we are. Doesn't matter whether your house comes down because of a bulldozer in the name of expanding roads. Whether you lose a loved one, don't lose your life, don't lose your head. Whether you lose a partner, is it possible your life requires more independence? And that's why they had to walk out on you. Did you know there's always a silver lining in every cloud? And if you focus on the bright side of life, you'll always see it.